What's cracking everyone, Amy Crichton here and in today's video we're going to do a little bit of masking. So I'll let you guys in on a secret. When I'm wearing a hat, it's not to be cool. It's because I'm trying to hide that. You know, not everybody has really good hair days. Now I do have to apologise, it has been a minute since I've been on YouTube. Things have been hectic here. Um, we've had a couple of lockdowns here in Australia and obviously Melbourne and Sydney are going cray cray at the moment with lockdowns but we're located in Brisbane so everything's kind of calmed down here at the moment which is good news. On the flip side of that we have been so busy and that's why I have not been on YouTube recently and I'm so sorry I have so many videos banked up ready to go so they should be releasing in the next week or so. Now this is going to be a pretty quick video just to give you guys a couple of tips on how you can make your YouTube videos better or just your video production better in general. I want to know, did you guys notice anything different about my last video? I am renowned for getting my footage back into the edit and just going, oh, the flyaways, look at the flyaways. And they just drive me nuts and I just can't, I can't get over it. So my last video, I had a really, really bad flyaway, as you can see. Um, and there was no way that I was going to come and re-record everything I had done for that video because it's just that wasn't an option. So here's a quick little tip that you guys can do if you get into a situation where something is just uh, really irking you and you just want to mask it out, just want it to be magic. So have a look at this. So here is the clip in question. Drag it onto the timeline. Um, I am using DaVinci. You can use Premiere to do the same thing. Now look at that flyaway. To some people you might not even notice but to me it stands out like dog's balls. So first of all chuck a grade on there to really see how bad it is because I think it was also backlit so that just makes it even worse. Now first up you want to duplicate the clip. You go into the color tab and then you right click on there and you can add alpha output. That's one of the main things you want to do first. Otherwise this whole thing is not going to work. So make sure that top clip is selected. Go into your uh, masking tool there and mask away. So mask around the area you want to get rid of. And then you want to go down and invert it. Now straight away you're not going to see a difference because obviously that clip is duplicated but once we move it around um, we can see um, that that clip's under there. Now you want to move it around so you get a nice clean bit of background. This is obviously not going to work if you have a really busy background but in my case it's just like a solid colour so I can get away with it. So then you just want to use the tracker and track forward and fix up anything along the way that doesn't look right. In my case, I was pretty lucky. I don't move my head around too much, so there wasn't too many keyframes to change. Now that's looking pretty good to me. Uh, we can finesse it a little bit more. We can just move that layer underneath a little bit more to try and get a little bit more seamless. Um, and then we can finesse it a little bit further, go into your mask, and then adjust the softness. And there you go, Bob's your uncle, Jane's your aunt, and that is done. And that's it. How easy is that? Even for me, I am not a DaVinci Resolve expert or a Premiere expert, so anyone can really do this. It'd make your videos a little bit more slicker, hide those flyaways, and make your videos so much better. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.